We are in uncharted territory. We are having the time of our lives. For me as a day trader, this is such fascinating stuff. This is cutting, cutting, cutting edge business. I'm having a good hair day. That's a good thing. Market up 280 points, close at the highs. So what changed from yesterday to today? Yesterday was uncertainty, unexpected behavior, very, very complicated trade. The Brexit vote coming out, the world in turmoil, markets in turmoil, everything affecting what's going on down the road, around the world, through all the latitude and longitudes. British pound getting eviscerated, dollar rallying hard, other markets responding in a negative way, uncertainty, economic activity and fear. And then, so what is everybody's biggest fear? that they're going to go to the bank and the door's going to be closed, the ATM's going to limit you to $50, and that your money will be worthless, like things have happened over the history in Greece, in Italy, in South America, where m money's devalued to the point where it's basically worthless, where banks get closed, where there's a run on the banks, 1929, dogs and cats sleeping together, fear, fire and brimstone and madness. Everyone's fear is that not only will their money be cut from $10 to $1, but they won't even be able to go get that $1 bill. And they won't be able to get out of the market. They'll be locked out, down limits, whatnot. Okay? So, what changed from yesterday to today? Markets go into free fall. It could have been a lot worse than, I, than it was the last couple of days, although we, the Dow, were down 1,000 points in a couple of days. The banks throughout the world stepped in to stem the fear of wild madness and said that if, in fact, this very, very complicated situation which is going to be affecting the markets and the economic health of the world for a long time to come until it unwinds itself and settles down and equalizes, that we are going to step in no matter what to support the currencies and the markets throughout the world. What does that do? That's triage. That puts a band-aid on an open bleeding wound. That prevents people from running out of the house, standing online at the bank, fearful with suitcases, grabbing their money and running. That's what happened today. Okay? I told you, I don't know what goes on from one day to the next here. I was not willing to make that trade, sure. If yesterday was down 600 points, or 650 the first day, 250 the second day, and I suddenly decided, you know what, this is the bottom, and I'm going to buy it, and I did the rollover trade, and I woke up this morning and everything was, it was Christmas, I, I, I'm not willing to make that bet. It could have just as easily been down another 500 than it was up 250 today. So basically, you've got to be able to come in here and make your bets on a daily basis. As a long-term investor, you just stay in the market and not worry, in my opinion, if your money is based in equities here, okay? If you're in nice high-dividend quality stocks. Net-net at the end of the day, depending on when your retirement is, depending on when you need your money, you're going to be okay. Markets equalize. We're not in London. We're not in Greece. We're here in the U.S. of A. We're here at the NYSE, okay? But... All that being said, they stepped in, the banks and the governments all over the world stepped in and said, we will keep banks open, we will support foreign exchange, we will support our money, we will support the banks, and we will support the economy, and we will do our best to stem the bleeding. And what did everyone do? They said, great, hey, forget about it. We opened up. This morning we came in, we were up about 250 points. Banks all gapped up, la, 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 everything was wonderful. But there's still all this underlying stuff. There's still all this stuff that has not decided yet. So this was a knee-jerk reaction. It held actually pretty well. Okay. After the opening, the banks did fall back down. Market was supported by oil, which some people thought was going to go down, but rallied. The whole energy sector supported the market. Market sold off about 80 after the pop in the morning, but it did rally back. 2 o'clock in the afternoon, with a bit of a sell and balance, this market just took off. Some people said it was oil. I like the premise that we've got a huge 
pension fund rebalancing that's going to be going on between now and Thursday. Okay, everyone's been long bonds. Their bonds have been rallying over the Brexit thing. The value of their equities have been down, and they're basically running sideways on whatever that gamma, beta, lingo thing is. But they're going to have to rebalance themselves, sell bonds here, which have rallied high, and buy equities to put themselves back in check. And that's what that 2 o'clock pop was. We popped about 130 points. Spiders up, Dow up, market acted great, closed at the high of the day. That's what I think was happening. I do not know what's going to happen tomorrow. We may digest this little bounce, semi-dead cat bounce, although it felt okay, but nothing has really changed. The bleeding has stopped for the moment. That doesn't mean it's not going to seep out and ooze for a long time until we figure this out. No wounds have been closed. No surgery has been done. No stitches have been put in. All we did is a day at a time getting through this. Tomorrow's another day, NYSE Einstein. I will give you tomorrow's market. We're coming to the end of a quarter, coming to the end of the month. And we got a lot more to come. This market is wild and crazy. I love you all tomorrow.